Hi folks, this is John with Remodeling Wizards of Maryland. Today I want to talk with you about a specific shower setup so that you can see the difference between a handheld shower head and a rain shower head. So come on over here and I'll show you the first part here. This is a handheld. Uh, it's attached to a hose here. One of the things that you need to be careful about when you buy this, let's say you have a seat somewhere in your shower and you want to actually use this from the seat, you have to make sure that you get a hose that's long enough to reach where you're sitting or just long enough to do whatever it is that you want to do with your handheld shower head. One of the nice features about this handheld shower head, it has all of these different openings in here and there's a little selector switch here. As you click this switch, it actually changes the spray pattern. I might be able to show you that a little later without getting myself soaking wet. The other thing about this handheld shower head is it sits on a slide bar. This is a slide bar. This, by the way, is all made by Mellon, and this is a brushed nickel slide bar. Everything is brushed nickel here. The way the slide bar works is a couple nice features. You can tilt the shower head one way or another like this, but in particular, if you're, let's say, a little taller, you may want to have the shower head come up a little higher, and then you may want to spin it one way or another. Now you can actually use it as a shower head you can stand in front of instead of using it as a handheld. The other feature with this is that um, the way that the valves work is this valve, when you pull it out, it actually puts water into the system. And as you turn it, uh, it will make the water either hot or cold. This particular valve here, this is a transfer valve. This transfers the water from the shower, the handheld shower head, all the way over to the, this particular bathroom as a rain shower head. This is the rain shower head. What's really nice about a rain shower head is when you take the shower, you stand underneath it, and it just comes down over top of your head instead of spraying on your face. So this is a nice feature, but to make that work, we would have to turn the transfer valve one way or the other and it would operate that. The last piece I want to show you about this shower, I want to show you the drain. Uh, you may not be aware of a trough drain. That's what this one's called. You can see it's a long, wide drain. Some people think that's great because it's going to take all this water straight down into it and drain like, the, like there's a giant hole underneath there. But let me just show you what's actually under there. I'm going to pop it up here with the screwdriver. One of the things about this type of drain, they do need maintenance. And I'll show you what the maintenance is. You need to pop them up every now and then, once every few weeks. And you can see how it works. The water goes into this pan and then it drains down into a strainer. This strainer will get filled with hair and crud and anything else that goes down into the drain. It's important you leave it there so that you don't clog up your system. But you have to remember every so often, maybe every few weeks, depending on how many people use the shower, you will have to take this out, rinse it off, clean it. You'll get mostly a buildup of hair in here, typically hair and soap, scum, that kind of stuff. But just clean it, put it back in place, put the uh, strainer on the top and there you are you're set all maintenance is done with that so that's where we are with this uh, shower head trough and also a rain shower head up above I want to see if I can get some water on here I just want to show you how this works I mentioned that there's a dial here where you can change the water pattern let's see if we can get this to happen first I'm going to turn the transfer valve up so that we can transfer the water here instead of the um, shower head in fact, let me think here for a second. It'd be crazy if I get this wrong. Um, I actually think you turn it down. So let's give that a try. If you see me soaking wet, you'll know I was wrong. So hold on. Turn the water on. Oops, good. Good thing I tried it. I looked at it twice. That would have been crazy. You can see how the water spraying right now. Now I'm going to click a little button underneath. Now we have a different spray. Click it again. It's a different spray, a little stronger. Click it again, I'm getting back to the original. So this is really cool. It's a real simple, you push the button and it will change the pattern of the spray. Well anyway folks, that hopefully gives you some idea of how to use a handheld and a rain shower and a trough drain. Thanks for listening.